jamming on Facebook. What's up, y'all? Who's doing the keto or who hasn't started the keto or who's ready to start the keto? Today we're doing keto talk. I want to start off first by saying my advice is not intended to diagnose or treat or cure or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just show you what worked for me. So what's up, y'all? What's up? What's going on? Before I get started, I want to send a big, big happy birthday to my wife, Lydia. Patino, happy birthday. Love you, babe. I'm trying to make it special for you today. I like to make it special for you all the time. So, anyway, she's turning 33. I know you're not supposed to talk about nobody's age, but she looks good for her age. I look good for mine. Anyway, man, what's up? What's up, Easy? Hey, bro. How you been doing, man? How's everything been going? Everything been going on? Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. Let's get some more people on here, man. It's a little raining outside. I would have came on a little earlier, but it was raining, so I didn't want the camera to, to act up. So I decided to take off today, man. I, I got I'm, I stay really busy, so I'm always DJing. So, but I decided to take off for my wife's birthday. We're going to do something. I don't know what. She into the parties and stuff like that. But anyway, man, what's going on, man? Uh, for some of y'all, man, have y'all started keto or y'all ready to start keto and stuff, you know? And for the people that I've been coaching, man, um, give me some updates. Let me know how you've been doing. So behind me, you find the good stuff. The stuff that I got samples for, and y'all haven't picked up those samples from me yet. The Max. It's the really good stuff. Prove it, man. It's really good. It's really good. It helps you get on ketosis. It's, it's really, really good. I take it. That's the reason why I sell it. It's cheaper for me. What's going on, man? Give me some questions, man. Give me some questions. We're doing keto talk today. Give me some questions. Today I went to the farmer's market right here at um Grand Parkway, man. And it's so weird because I'm all into like I want to grow my own garden in the back. And that's what that's what I'm gonna do. I just need to learn about it and stuff like that. And I also went over there to, you know, to uh well tomorrow I'm gonna to go see um my tea that I got coming out, my herb tea. I had to take out some ingredients out of it because I want to definitely make sure that you could um you could fast with it, you can intermittent fast with it. So that's what we're doing. We're just uh testing out the waters that um so that's what we're doing right now. So man, what's up, bro? Huh. So yeah, man, and, and also, man, we got Halloween parties coming up. So if you need a DJ, man, um I do I do the whole thing. I got the, the lights and and if you need me to dress up, I'll dress up. It might be, you know, it just depends, you know what I'm saying? But it's going down, man. I always got the the live music, the the, the dark lights, the everything, you know. So you get the Halloween theme and I put I decorate my table and everything and, and I mix anything and everything. So if you need a DJ or if you know anybody looking for a DJ, uh hit me up. But back to keto, man. Keto, as you can see, is still amazing for me, man. I feel so good on keto, man. I feel so good with this changed lifestyle. I feel so good by blessing all these people out here, man. Um, Miguel, man, he he's posted his picture on, on on my Facebook, and you see how amazing he looks, and he's only getting better. Uh, shout out to Moondy, man. Hey, shout out, man. He had a, a video come out, man. It's, it's awesome. They did a little... Um, live video on his food his food's amazing it's really really good um i'm gonna have to get a keto style though i'm gonna have to get it with a, a lettuce wrap and he'll do it he'll do it man he'll make the the lettuce hamburgers and his, his special sandwich that he got man the moondy special man we go way back man we go way back like a track man from denver harbor man but anyway man as you can see i feel amazing every day i'm happy man i'm so happy um so what's going on, guys? Um, so some of y'all, man, have y'all tried it? Have y'all started getting doing the keto? Because like keto's like the future, so everybody's doing keto now, you know. But the thing about it, some people still not doing it right. You know, you're doing keto and then they're cooking with vegetable oil. Really? No, no, no way. Or they're doing keto and they're still eating bad. You know, or, or you know, I've been hearing so many things about lazy keto. Keto sometimes, keto part time, uh, dirty keto. Dirty keto was the funny thing because I was like, dirty keto, does that mean you don't shower or something like that before you do keto and stuff like that? But hey, what's up, Instagram? What's going on, y'all? 
So we got some people on Instagram too, man. Um, and it's hard to read the names, but I appreciate all of y'all because everything's hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. So what's up, y'all? And you know, I'm waiting for these boys right here to, to get a win tomorrow. We need to get that win. I got the velas on and everything. I'm praying to God that we get that win. But what's up, y'all? I know y'all been seeing, I've been I know y'all been seeing my my um food I've been making. Me and my wife have been making that food. And um, yes, you can eat fried food when you're on keto. What you can't do is eat breaded food. You can't eat breaded, nothing with flour, nothing like that. If you want to put flour in it, do the almond flour. Like I was telling y'all, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, I was detoxing. I, I, I um, detox my body every day. Uh, thanks to Trish and the teas, delicious teas, delicious teas. Um, teas, they, they they hit your body parts and they, they make them feel really, really good, man. They, they help all your body and stuff like that. So it's good to detox every day. Um, and I know how to detox. You just don't detox anyway. What's up, D? Um, shout out, brother-in-law. What's up, brother-in-law? Brenda, what's going on, man? Um, Emma, so we got everybody on here, man. So we're getting more people on here. So, man, I've been changing people's lives, man, and it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Thank you, Jesus, man. Thank you, Jesus Christ. It's been amazing. Um, so some people still got some questions. You know, I, I'm getting emails and I'm getting um, text messages, a lot of text messages. And they're saying, can they eat this? Can they drink this? If you must have alcohol and you're doing keto, you could drink vodka, vodka, and you and, and not the not the flavored vodka. And, and if you really wanted to drink the flavored vodka, you probably can. But it, it, it be aware it does got sugar in it, and it is going to have a couple of carbs. When you could just drink the regular vodka and splash some lemon on it, some lime in it, and drink it with club soda, club soda, and you'll be okay. If you don't drink liquor and you drink beer and you must have a beer then drink an ultra light or drink a light beer and then water it down a little bit and that'll help you that'll help you not want to drink that beer no more so that's what you got to do because today i might drink probably a vodka like a babysitter i babysit it all day and i might do that because it's my wife's birthday so i might do that today depending on what she wants to do but man what's going on y'all what's going on man um about last video, man, I do apologize. I was just sharing you my life story, so I was crying a lot. I cry in commercials, man. You know, I cried when Lassie didn't make it home, you know. But, you know, what's up, y'all? So we're good, man. We're good. We're perfect, man. We, we ain't perfect because God's only perfect, but we're close to it, you know. But as always, I feel amazing, man. I have no problems whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. I've still been working out, so I'm getting sore. Uh, but if you're not, if it's not giving you pain, it's not working. So, you know, it's working. I, I can, it's coming. It's coming. I promise you it's coming. So, um, how y'all been, man? How's everybody been up there? Give me some, give me some fives up. Give me some hands up. You know, uh, we got more people on Instagram today. What's up, Instagram? So, yeah, man. So that's cool, man. That's really cool. And remember, if you need a coach, hit me up, man. 832-715-2557. I'm real easy to find. Um, I'm always posting up my number or saying my number. If you need to email me for any any reason, uh, unstoppable tx. So unstoppable texas at yahoo.com. Unstoppable texas at yahoo.com. If you have any questions, um, feel free to hit me up. Uh, I'll answer them to the best the best way I can. So guys, um, so y'all seen some of the food I've been making. Um, so, so on keto, it's not what you can't eat, it's what you can. And honestly, you pretty much can eat everything, you know. I want to show you, I want to show you something that I bought my wife, and I want to show you what it looks like. Um, some desserts. Because you know, we can, when you're on keto, you can't eat certain cakes and you can't eat certain desserts. But I got these friends of mine that they make amazing desserts i think it's uh k's cookies let me bring let me bring it to you hold on give me a second hey babe can i show them the, 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 the...
Voilà. Look. Okay. okay. I, it's just better with the earphones. Okay, here now. Like if y'all talking to me, it just, it just sounds better. So look at this. Y'all see this? Look how good this looks. And this is keto. This is keto. This is keto sweets. And their link is up there. Their link is up there. I've got their link right there underneath my links. Right there. Cows, cookies. Look at that. Look at these brownies. Look at these brownies. Oh, my God. They're so delicious. So there's no excuses. If you got a sweet. Oh, you know what? My bad. Let me Instagram. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these brownies. And um, unfortunately, I don't know. I still don't know how to write stuff on Instagram. Like when I got a, when I'm doing a live video. Look at this. When I'm doing a live video. So I don't really know how to, to write and to let you know about the link. But you can find them on Instagrams too. Um, Instagram. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But um, let me see. Um, it's spelled uh, K-A-I-S. And then cookies with a K. So cows cookies. You know what I can do? Um, I got their card. Hold on, give me a second. I got their card. Okay, I'm looking for their card. I'm looking for their card right now. But um, is this it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the card, and you can order from them, and just let them know freestyles. Just say freestyles. Uh, sent us. Okay, that's the card right there. Look, look at the card. Maybe it looks a little bit backwards, but you get an idea of what where the colors are and stuff like that. So this is the card right here, you guys. Look. See that? That's the card right there. And they're on Instagram. They're on Facebook. Yeah, they're on Facebook. And you can find them. And, man, their cookies and everything's amazing. Amazing. And they do, they do keto. So I just thought I'd bring that on here right now. I picked them up today. Uh, shout out to them. So, see, there's no excuse, man. You And then the other day, I made the bonuelos, and um, I made those out of three-carb tortillas, and I fried them up in the olive oil, put a little bit of butter in them, um, and then I put cinnamon, and then I put uh, monk fruit, which is a substitute sugar. And, man, golly, they were so good. They were amazing. Okay, so Emma got a question. Uh, three months and down 35. Awesome, Emma. Awesome, man. I've been off a month due to health issues. Okay, well, you know, well, you, at least you're doing something. But I'm okay. I'll get back on starting Monday. Good. Can't wait to get back on it. Feel much better again. And you will. And you will, Emma. And if you need anything, hit me up, man. Hit me up. Um, Juan, man. I already started working with Juan uh, in the beginning of the week, Monday. And he tells me, he goes, man, I was working in the, walking in the warehouse. Dude, and, 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 and I wasn't getting tired, you know. And um, nothing happens overnight, okay? Nothing happens overnight, but it does happen over weeks. It does happen depending on how disciplined you are with yourself and what you want out of it, you know? We, on, we only going to get what we get out of it. In other words, if we work hard and we want it, then we'll get it. But if we work a little bit and we slack off and sometimes we do this and then we won't get what we want, you know? Like me, I want to get more muscle on me now. And I work out every day. Every day I work out. I get up and I do something either with my core or, or my arms or something. I do something here. I got almost a gym in my house, you know. Um, so anyway, um, so that sounds good. That sounds good, Emma. Okay, so Cindy got a question. Um, I had to cook all these air rock and water and the test of lemon. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's what it was. That's what it was. It was... Um, so she's because I, I do the cook off. I do later ride cook offs all the time. And she says at the cook off, you served vodka, water, and a touch of lemon. Wasn't bad at all. Oh, so you had it. Okay, cool, man. Cool. Yeah, because vodka does not carry carbs in it. It don't, unless the vodka has a flavor in it or something like that. And you know, lemon, that that's good for you. Um, you could even splash it with honey. Honey's good for your body, you know. 
it, it, it's not going to kill you with a little couple of carbs. And when I mean by kill you, I mean by your carb count and, and stuff like that. So it just depends on, on, on what you're doing for yourself, you know. Hey, shout out to my brother. I got my brother in the house, man. Uh, shout out to Marn, man. Shout out to Tim. Um, awesome producer, man. Shout out to Cindy. Shout out to Jacob. What's up, bro? Um, shout out to Crystal. McDaniel, what's up? I do all their parties. I'm ready, I'm ready to do some more parties for them. So shout out to Brunlaw. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody on Instagram, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. I thought I'd jump on here real quick and stuff like that. But uh, hey, man. Um, is T okay? Yes, definitely. Um, actually, I, actually, I got a T coming out. I got my own T coming out. Unstoppable health win. Unstoppable health win. And it's going to be good for if you got high blood pressure, if you're diabetic, if um, you get anxiety. It's going to be good if, if you get digestive problems. It's good for everything, you know. And Oh, and it's also, it's also going to give you that unstoppable where it's going to have a lot of energy. So it's going to have that jinx. It's going to... Um, what is it called, ginseng or something like that. So it's going to have all that because that's what's taking me so long because I want this tea to come out and it needs to taste good. So it's going to have a cinnamon, cinnamon taste to it. That's what I'm trying to work on right now. But again, I had to take out some ingredients that weren't working when the person was fasting. I want to make sure that I can get up in the morning and I can flush my body out. I can detox my body. And that won't break my fast. That's what I wanted to do, you know, for the people that are doing fasting, because I still fast 20 hours a day, except today I, I do 16. Um, so anyway, so yeah, guys. Um, so yeah, tea, tea, you can have some tea. Tea is good. And there's also some cold tea that you can find. Um, I, I, I don't know. I posted on, on my Facebook, but I'll, I'll get it to you. I'll get it to you, uh, Salazar. Um, thank you, Cindy. So, yeah, man. So any more questions, man? Give me some more questions. What's up, Iris? Um, so, y'all, man, questions on, on, on Instagram. Any questions on Instagram? Man, Instagram, you, you got to have an Instagram. These days, you have to have an Instagram. And definitely a Facebook, but... So, Instagram, let's see what they got going on. What's up, y'all? So, yeah, man. So any more questions? Give me some more questions, man. Um, and again, I'll answer them the best way I can. Again, I'm not no doctor. I just give you my advice. I show you what worked for me, and it continues to work for me. It continues to work for my wife. It continues to work for Miguel. Miguel, Miguel came to me at 400, and I can say it now because he's feeling better. He lost a lot of weight. He's doing good. Miguel came to me at 400 and a little bit 400 over 30, 435, somewhere around there, maybe 440. And today, Miguel told me he lost 70-something pounds, something like that. M Miguel will come on here, and he'll, if he can. Miguel, if you can hear me, bro, bro uh, come on here, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll come on. He usually comes on my live videos. So Juan, Juan came to me on Monday, and I've been working with him. And he's at 470. Now that's they're both a lot of weight, but the thing about it is they did something about it. They did something about it. It's not, it's not how big you are, it's how you feel in the inside. And like I tell people, you know, I was I posted up a video of me when I'm DJing um, a cook off for the Texans. It was a game. It was a, a cook off. I can't remember. It was, it was a while while back, uh, actually last year, <laughs> but I'm. You could see how big I was. I couldn't even breathe. You know, I couldn't breathe, man. It saved my life. I couldn't breathe, you know, and that was just a terrible night. And you can go back and look at that video. I don't want to get into that, but you can go back and look at the video later. But um, and you could always find my videos. You could always find my videos on YouTube. So Instagram, if you don't got a Facebook, then you can find them on YouTube, which is key to his life without no spaces. Just key to his life and you'll pull me up. Same thing with with Facebook, man. Make sure y'all go su subscribe to my channels. I really would appreciate that. So, okay. So, okay. So, how about... Oh, definitely no apples. Sandra. So, Sandra asks, so how about apples? Do you know? To hide? Definitely no apples. They say apples keeps the doctor away. That's a lie. It keeps you in the emergency room. Apples carry a lot of sugar. So, these are the things you should not take when you're doing keto. And I'm going to tell you about the fruit. Okay, so you should not take sweet potato. 
You should not take watermelon. You should not take um, melon. You should not take bananas. Definitely not bananas. You should definitely not take apples. Don't take grapes. What you can have, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. Berries will not hurt you. The carbs are not hard, high on berries. Good question. But that's the problem. Sometimes, and again, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to tell you what they say and what you should do and what you should eat in a diet and stuff like that. I'm not here for that. I'll just tell you what worked for me. And you definitely do not want that type of fruit. You don't. Um, and if you eat papaya, that's bad. Don't eat that either. Okay. Now, the things that you can have when you get closer to your goal or closer to your weight, um, what's that called? A uh, uh, plantain, plantain, plantain. You could have a few of those. I, I'm not too crazy about them, but I do like them. Like, and when they get real, real hard, what are they called? Um, I don't know. I eat the vegetables like that too. They like they get really, really hard. They're um, like chips type. I don't know, but you can have a f a few of them like that, but. Um, wait till you get to your to your size that you're looking for. But definitely, Sandra, that's a good question. But no, definitely no. Apples are not good, you know. And then somebody might tell you different, but if you're doing keto, apples is not nowhere near there. So no apple pie. <laughs> What's up, nephew? So um Sandra, how you doing, Sandra? Let me let me know where you're at. Let me know, you know, how much weight have you lost or inches? Let me know, let me know what you're doing. <laughs> Sandra's awesome, man. I've um, been knowing her for a long, 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 long time. And uh, she hit me up one day and uh, she asked me some questions and, you know, answered the best way I could, you know. And she's doing good, man. She's doing good. So, so guys, let me see what I got. What else? What else? What other questions I got? Um, D, what's up, D? So, we got everybody on here, man. Shout out to everybody. Susan, congratulations again on your on your uh, your the baby, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> grandma again, huh? <laughs> so anyway, um, so y'all, man, how's it how's it been going, man? How's it been going? Any more questions, man? Uh, and have a banana a day? <laughs> oh no, definitely not. Oh, you love apples? Hey, who don't love apples and who don't love bananas? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I miss bananas. I miss bananas. But they're not good for you when you're doing keto. But I'm not saying it's going to hurt you. But I would say get to the goal you want. And then maybe you could put a banana every two weeks. You know, maybe you could eat your banana every two weeks. But apples, I would stay away from the apples. I wouldn't even touch the apples. I really wouldn't. So any more questions, man? Any more questions? So this is just keto talk. We're just basically talking about keto talk. And also, man, I got the I got the product, y'all. I got the product right here, the Max. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If you hit me up and um, uh, you meet, meet, meet up with me when where I'm DJing it or um, send me your address and I'll send you a free sample. I'll send you a free sample. I just don't know. I'm just pretty sure it'll be okay going through the mail. I'm pretty sure it'll be good. But I got yeah, I got samples, man. So I'm I'm talking about free samples, okay? If in other and other other times I'm doing it for five dollars a sample, and that's way less than what people are doing for and stuff like that. And these are the only flavors that I like. Other flavors I, I really don't care for them. They don't taste good. This is the Maui Punch and this is the Raspberry Lemonade, and they're delicious. And I also I would also show you how to take your apple cider vinegar with it. Because the apple cider vinegar is another amazing thing that you could take when you're doing keto, you know. Cucumbers, avocados, best snack. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Me and my wife try to eat an avocado every day. And so far, we've been doing it. Either an avocado or a half avocado or guacamole or something because avocados is really, really good for you. Really good for you. And pickles. You can the juice of the pickles is real good, you know, but make sure you're not getting the the sweet pickles or or, or like stuff like that. I think last time I posted up um, a hot dog casserole that I did without the bread, 
out out the buns and um i had some relish on it so my sister-in-law says hey ain't that sweet relish said, no it's not sweet relish it's just pickle relish you know and i think i had like maybe about one two carbs or something like that so i don't plan i, I don't plan like right now even my mom and people tell me you know hey you could eat this already you could eat that already look you're that's flacco and you're skinny but that, that ain't what I'm here for, man. I'm not going to go back to that life. I'm not going to go back to that life because you got to understand once you start getting in those bad habits and you start eating again, and then again, I'm not even hungry. So if you're not hungry, why are you going to want to eat? Like I tell people, I, I coach their mind. I help them with their mind. I'm not saying they're not brilliant. I'm just trying to tell them, show them what worked for me. And now my mind controls my stomach. I still ain't eight, and I'm good. Look, look at this right here. Look at these right in front of me, and <laughs> I ain't touching that. You know, um, people be next to me, and they'll be eating, and oh man, eating whatever they're eating, and man, I tell you what. It, today we went to go get my my um, sons. We went to get them the the honey biscuit from Waterburger, right? And um, man, we could smell it, but it wasn't bothering me. I mean. It, it was cool, you know, it smelled good, but it's not like something I wanted to eat. The problem is we eat with our senses most of the time, so, and, and by what we see. So sometimes we eat because somebody's um, a commercial. You know, there's been times where you see a commercial of a Whopper or something like that or any kind of food, and you'd be like, man, you know what, babe, we ain't been there for a long time. We need to go over there. And guess what happens? So you go over there, and you stuff yourself, and you weren't even hungry to begin with. So that's everything. That's, like, Chinese buffets, I don't even hit Chinese buffets, man, because you overstuff yourself. They cook the food way too fast, so it's coming out the kitchen, and then you just don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I'll eat like at a place where I'm asking a lot of questions, and I need to know exactly what's in the food. But most of the time, I'm here cooking dinner for me and my wife, or she'll cook something because when you're doing keto, the best way to know what the ingredients are is you doing it yourself or getting somebody to prep your meals, to prep your meals. Um, I just I just met somebody not too long ago. Um, I'm trying to remember their name. Um, but she preps meals. She does meals. Uh, Padilla. Let me let me let me see real quick. Let me see real fast. Let me see where I can see this at. You know what? Okay, I'll get that information to y'all. But she she does the meals and stuff like that. So um, how's everybody doing out there, guys? Man, y'all ready? Y'all ready to get this win tomorrow for my Texan fans? Cause I'm ready. I am ready. So yeah, man. So if y'all want if y'all want this keto life, cause everybody's doing it. Your Thea's doing it. Your Thea's boyfriend's cousin's doing it. Your neighbor's doing it. Somebody at your job is doing it. I mean, there's a lot of people doing keto now, you know, a lot of people, but a lot of them are not doing it right. It's what you want out of it. Yeah, you're going to, you probably lose some weight. I'm not saying you ain't going to lose no weight if you cheat a little bit, but you're also going to knock yourself out of ketosis. So it's going to have to, you're going to work harder. Why work harder when you could just knock it out? If I'm working hard, like I work hard every day. So if I'm working hard every day, I'm not going to cheat. It just ain't going to happen. Because there's too much food to eat out there and to eat at your house where you don't have to cheat. Let me let me show you this, okay? So say you're at um, say you're at Whataburger and you said, man, you know what? I guess I'll cheat today. When you could easily get the lettuce and wrap your meat up and get a double meat burger with extra bacon and extra avocado and and and, and eat that you know another thing say you're at a, a mexican restaurant and you say oh man i'm a cheat well you got fajitas you got chicken fajitas you could eat the inside of a burrito you could you know again as long as you don't have the carbs, you're going to be okay. If you're at a barbecue place, um, not too long ago, I did the cook-off for Lady Ride Cooker. Shout out to them. I ate meat. I ate sausage. I ate jalapenos. I ate pickles. And I ate onion. Boom. Done. So 
I didn't have to have the bread. I didn't have to have the potato salad. I didn't have to have the, oh, and I ate some beans. Don't get me wrong. I ate some beans too. I ate a, excuse me, a half a cup of beans la chata because you can. Beans carry fiber. They carry carbs, but they carry fiber. Again, like I told you, when you get close to your goal or to your goal and you want to add a little bit beans in there, then that's fine. But don't add potatoes and French fries and all that stuff because you're going to be in the same position you were before you started. Probably a worse position. So, man, shouts out to everybody out here, man. We got some new people on here. Shouts out to y'all, man. Um, and remember, stay positive. Stay positive about everything. Stay positive about everything because positive things happen. Once you change, your world will change. Everything changes around you. You wouldn't believe, I couldn't even believe to tell you how, how it is now. It, it's, it, you know, when I was big, when, you know, when I was big and, you know, stuff like that. Again, excuse me, because I was detoxing earlier. So when I was big, people would pay attention to me and they would treat me different. It's so weird because the world accepts you skinnier or, or in shape. It's just like that. You know, I, I accept you regardless any which way you are, but that's just the world, the way the world is, man. I, I'm being totally honest with you because I remember being big and I, I they used to think that I was going to rob them or, or um, do something bad, you know? Uh, and now it's different. Like, Hey, take a selfie with me. Hey, what's going on? DJ, Hey, come take a picture with me. And, and, and it's just, it's just so different and it's so different, you know? Okay, I know someone who's currently purchasing from Sarah. Okay, cool, cool. So, that, so that's her name, Sarah. Okay, cool. Yeah, Padilla, right? Sarah Padilla. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, man. So she sells, she sells the, she does the prep meals. She does the prep meals. Also, um, a guy named Jesse. I can't remember his last name, but he does the prep meals. I think his his his, his prep meals are M M M. So he does that. And also, um, Val. Val Val does um Val cuts uh calories that's what she that's what that's her deals so there's people out there that can prep your meals you know but actually if you if you can't afford that or, or you you want to do it yourself then you can prep your meals yourself and don't try to be so hard with your meals look uh i see people prepping their meals and it's like they're starving themselves like they're not giving themselves enough food you know and you do want to get yourself enough food i'm not saying to eat like a pig and and, and fill your thing up but get you get you some good food like like if I was prepping, like I ain't even started at that, but I, if I wanted to do prepping, it, it would be different. It would um, it would consider more vegetables in there, and it would consider um, more fat. I would put more fat. I'd throw you a little piece of butter on there or something because you need you know you need fat. So, and I'm not saying they're not doing a good job. I'm just saying, and then I'm saying necessarily them. I'm not talking about the ones I just mentioned. I'm talking about other people. So um, yeah, you could do it yourself. So say you want to eat um. You get a pack of weenies. I'm going to show you the cheap way to do it. So you get a pack of weenies. So then chop you up a couple of weenies, uh, fry them up, put them into your bowl. Um, you can even do it in the morning on the stove. You know what I'm saying? Um, get you some cheese on the side, um, pickles, put you some pickles, put you some avocado, and there you go. You, you just prepped you a meal and, and easy, and it was not expensive like that. Or you can do um, buy you some hamburger meat. Um, make you some patties you know there's so many there are so many different ways you could eat that um that's not so expensive you know and for people that are cooking out there already for people that are cooking out there already you could actually cook the food that you've been cooking just cook it without the carbs you know like if you were cooking um steak meat in chile in gravy but you've been using the flour which just don't use the flour no more and and use it with uh just you know in the juices on his own juices um or i'm gonna make mole pretty soon I'm, I'm gonna do a video on that and the mole uh we're gonna do it with almond flour really did it one time and it came out delicious with almond flour you know people think that i got to use flour for it to get a good mole taste but you don't again it's all the ingredients you put in there and uh if you use the almond flour it's still going to be just as good as delicious because it's so strong and stuff like that Hey guys, I don't mean I, I don't even know how long I, I've been here too, way too long. Thirty four minutes, man. I do apologize and everybody. Um, glad to see everybody got on here, man. I really appreciate everybody. Uh, if you want to change your life, the only one's going to change your life is yourself. So you definitely got to do something about it. Um, your health, your health is everything, man. I, at one time I thought my health was not everything, but now I thank God 
every day because I feel amazing every day, man. So if you're doing keto, as long as you do it right, don't fall for some of the stuff you see on YouTube. And I don't want to contradict myself because I do want you to go to my YouTube channel. I want you to uh, subscribe to my channel, which is Keto is Life. But I try to be real, real with it. I don't try to confuse you with a lot of stuff that I see sometimes on the Internet and stuff like that. But for your questions, I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any more questions, you can reach me, 832-715-2557. You can inbox me. You can call me, whatever you want. Everybody have an awesome day. Everybody be blessed, man. Thank you. I appreciate y'all.